Hello everybody, this is Jen Jeft with a battle that I had a hell of a lot of fun with. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yes, it was a good one. I don't know why the computer's already being a bit complainy. But oh well, so we'll speed this up, get the battle going, and speed through most of the initial maneuvers. How's like about Canadian Army? It's not really the greatest army in the world. Send some guys off over there in helicopters, because that's all I've got for infantry. I've got some, well, they're back there because I hadn't realized. And then I dropped some bombs there and missed. Basically, I don't know how close I got. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. We've stopped going in super speed. Damn it, cat! Get off my desk! Got away with that, too. So I grabbed this place. Duck, duck those guys out real quick so they don't die. Actually, amazed these guys didn't cause much more of a problem than they did. But that was a good move, putting the re recon there. Oh, they do notice my helicopters. These helicopters dropped these guys off there, and I'm like, oh, let's test their defenses. I sent them flying through, just for the heck of it. See what happens. Awful surrenders. <laughs> do they even? Do they still see him? Nope, they don't. They just know they're there. Hobble surrendered. Oh, that's great. These helicopters show up and start shooting. My response is to send a hornet. And where are my tanks? Oh, they're right there. Yeah, these kind of show up and go, yep, whatever, stop. I think that was the guy who owns... The, nope, Solo. Well, at least Solo is now the guy who owns that, but he might have been... The other guy might have been the guy who owned that other place. Uh, my helicopters can't kill that, so I just send them on their merry way to find another target. My Hornet killed most of the helicopters here on the hillside. And he found those and set them on fire. Uh, kind of misuse of doing that, because he napalm the same space twice. You want to do a forced attack like there and there, it doubles the coverage area, and all of these guys would have died in that. But, no, they didn't do that, so whatever. I still got my blowpipes there. Oh, and his Humvees get killed by his own fire. Oh well. So we got two command units there, just in case. These guys, well, the one guy left, is still merrily beating away at this thing. Almost kills it, gets it down to one health, and then... Yeah, gets killed by aircraft. In the meantime, this guy has deployed another one. Being smart. Oh... I wasn't too far away from it. My tanks are literally just ignoring this helicopter, just going, yeah, whatever, dude. And Nighthawk shows up. Here comes some more of my guys. These guys get caught. By that. Boom. Boom. Unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Oh, uh, I don't think we ever take that place. Really, this is bad. They don't even have golf, and they don't even have November. So their pact is really lacking this game. Holy crap, they're doing badly. Never mind with what I end up doing. Freaking wasn't what I wanted them shooting at, so I drove them over this way. They find this command unit, which they never bothered to move afterwards. For all they knew, all they could have known, that these guys could have been filled with stuff that crashed right next to them, and boom, there goes their command unit, but no. Oh, that thing fully repaired itself. Oh, well, not a problem. Because they still have no air defense in this corridor at all. None whatsoever. ADATS easily takes care of that helicopter, as usual, sends it crashing right there. Uh, one of these guys is actually still alive, and they go on to the woods. Yep, 
You still don't have golf, and they still don't have November, which is kind of surprising and sad. They do have some stuff in here, but not really enough. This guy comes out of the woods thinking they're smart. Does capture a supply truck, though. Poof. Supply truck captured. But then they get shot up by my friend's light rifleman. Boy, are these guys kind of crappy, too. So I'm sending these CH-135s over. Guy's calling for them to attack there. I do like how they did line up all this anti-aircraft right here. And it took out some stuff. I've never seen people do that before, which is a nice change of strategy. It's a good air defense. They didn't do it over here. They've got their uh, lots of anti-aircraft artillery and rockets. And some 82mm Morgas and more Pragas. I'm trying to get this place. But notice their entire army is concentrated on the right. Or our right, their left, and then our left, their right. There's nothing in the center, which is in line with what me and Simon are talking about in the other video series I've got going on of some epic battles. I got concerned that they saw these helicopters, which I know they did, so I dropped off the stuff here and marched them into here. Once I realized this thing wasn't coming over to kill them, well, they go across. This guy also distracted them. I really don't think that was what he intended to do, and he did it very badly, whatever it was he was intending to do. And these Super Cobras also show up, which is great. Ah, oh, one of the F-117s goes down. Goodbye! Boom. Crashing planes can be very dangerous. I've seen them take out command vehicles. So it's still there. But he's got he's not worried because well he's got another one in the back. Still not defending these things. This guy's rangers survive. My Vanus are heading out. Our Vandus are heading out. I really thought these guys were armed with a different anti-tank weapon system, but no, this is what they've got. And it kinda doesn't do the job against this. It does disable it, but... It doesn't do the job in the end. Due to the complete and utter lack of, of anti-aircraft coverage, this Hornet is literally just able to just right up through the map, boom, and it leaves. A okay. Gone. Long distance strike and boom. Rangers are getting killed by helicopters. Rangers did kill one. Come on. You can beat the helicopter. You can beat the helicopter. There it goes. My vanners are still just moving along. The Super Cobras are kind of hovering over here. And... Stalemate. And... Stalemate. Yep. So I'm sitting there going, yeah, what to do? What do I do? Well, let's spawn more of these things. Of these helicopters, because they don't have any anti-aircraft defense, because they're too busy focusing on the flanks. They okay with me! I wonder where that command unit is going. Uh oh. So Titus is sending his own Super Cobras over. He's sitting there now. My Vanus show up and start hitting the uh, T-80. They actually run out of machine gun ammunition. Thank you, helicopters. You burned them out of machine gun ammunition. They hit. Weapons jammed. <laughs> There's nothing this T-80 can do now. 
Because they're jammed. They're poof. Done. Finito! These guys do appear to be taken in that place, unfortunately. There's a bunch of their riflemen there. They've gotten that little village, but pff, whatever. That's not going to win them the war. These guys, sadly, do not have enough Carl Gustav ammunition to kill the T-80. Come close, but not quite enough. But then the Super Cobras show up. Eh, problem's kind of solved. They actually shoot down that thing in the process. They try to fly, go to fly off to dodge, but it turned out to be unnecessary. And so the T-80U is destroyed. Now I've got more helicopters going in now. I also take advantage of the fact that they're not guarding their stuff whatsoever. I'm amazed that we haven't gotten November at this point, but... Late at night, you don't seem to have many aggressive players as they sit on the flanks. Center is wide fucking open on both sides. It's wide open here and it's wide open there. And it's always predictable. You know the command unit's going to be in the back in these woods. They're always there. Most players put them there. So they always end up here or here. I know that every time they're going to be in this area. Actually, this area is more common. This side's a little bit rarer, so I'm amazed it's there. But usually it ends up over here. And it's always the same place every time. It's so predictable. They gotta see this stuff coming. There's one there, they gotta see that, they've gotta see that, they've gotta see this. At least it's gotta see... they must have seen it flash. These Vanus go over there and grab the fob. Look at all the fobs they brought. They're not gonna run out of supplies, are they? They're the Malakas, which I saw firing earlier on. These guys end up dying to uh, one of these things, which was good on their part. Killed the command unit in Delta with a couple of Pathfinders. My Pathfinders are exploring where the command unit usually is, so I'm kind of surprised it's not there. And I've got more stuff coming in. I've also got these artillery pieces here, which I haven't really used all that much of. They kind of exist at the moment. Pathfinders continue to just destroy the Malakas here. Taking them out. No more artillery for you guys. Oh, they've got armor that's strong enough to stop that. Wow. Pathfinders dodged the incoming rounds there. They still have the flanks here. So, so far with just a handful of units, I've destroyed their artillery, destroyed a command unit, destroyed another command unit, granted that I was using a plane, and my Hornet doesn't get in there in time. These guys showed up just in time to stop them. I do see this coming. I had been moving these away. I'll show you. I don't see anything at the moment. Pathfinders are still going to explore. And I'm securing this place with infantry. Not a hell of a lot of infantry, but some infantry nevertheless. As I just cause havoc behind their lines. And poof, suddenly I see this thing. I know they've taken that. That's what got my attention as I heard the fob go away. Look over there. There's a command unit. It's taken that position, so I know it's an armed command unit. An unarmed unit won't take a fob. So I turn the pathfinders back and lift off these helicopters to harass the thing. Which they succeed in doing. These guys run into that recon, kill it, and these guys start moving that the other direction. I realize it's over there, and these Pathfinders and helicopters take care of it. Start sending the Pathfinders back in the other direction. These Pathfinders are still searching, but they've run out of space to search, so I'm going to be sending them to the other side. These MiGs take care of that. 
but it's paused that long enough. I come back to see him destroy this and realize those are flamethrowers! Run the fuck away! The robot's over there to take that fob. Hee <laughs> hee. They take that, and my pathfinders come up and destroy it. And just for the bloody heck of it, make them waste more aircraft time, sending out these CH-135s over. To just see what I can find and harass it to death. And there goes their command unit yet again. So some helicopters, four pathfinders. <laughs> uh, six pathfinders and the guys I had down there. Oh, this is a fun battle. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. These helicopters just destroy, destroying your, your alls because, well, why the heck not? They're here. they got to shoot something. Pathfinders are going across the gap. My friend's driving Bradley's up. And, oh, look! They find a UAZ! They're outside the range of the heat, unfortunately. But then it gets destroyed. And now they've lost Echo. They don't have Echo. They don't have Delta. And they don't have Charlie. We got Charlie! It's not even a heavy attack. It's just a few light infantry units just moving around. In general, being annoying. The Vanus are getting into there, and the Pathfinders are getting into there. These rangers are mostly dead. Any flares on their part? Nope. There's not much communication on their side. There's more on our side. Creepers wanting that thing dead. They're not spawning anything here. They've got it, but they're not spawning anything. It'd immediately be hit, but... I wonder what they were doing and what they were thinking this entire time. There wasn't that much going on for them. Prowler's going, but that's anti-radar. These guys are going in. And there goes that command unit. So they've lost November again. They didn't even deploy anything in November. They took it and then died. These guys are staged to move into town. Ah, the Bradley's dying over there. Just to see what was over here, I flew these guys over there. It wasn't friendly. But once the, once the infantry are landed, these helicopters are just kind of expendable. Oh, they're, do, they're using descents. Oh, I was planning on a tank push in that area, too. Would have worked wonderfully. But I take notice of the fact that they don't have this place. I also take notice of the fact that they don't seem to have much in the way of defenses there. So here comes... a command unit. Little jeep, unarmed, I was gonna bring a tank, but I was like, you know what, it, I don't have the points, I'm not waiting. So here comes a command unit. I wanted it, wanted that position now, yesterday, and quick. So they're coming in. Some albatrosses dropping in, dropping in stuff. Uh, Czechoslovakians, that explains why they're not using napalm on those. Pathfinder still moving towards their fobs, which is hilarious. Even funnier what they start doing after I take them. Oh, I just gave it away. The little mention of me going, Oh, they're not going to be running out of supplies anytime soon. What do I see from that Vanu's point? Nothing. Only that thing driving by. What do they see? They do see the Vanus. And they do destroy. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's when that guy dies. So I've got this place now. Deployed two groups of tanks and immediately moved because I saw this thing flying. It's like, up, oh, that's going to bomb me. Realized to switch targets to this spawn point. And you immediately see this thing stop. And then start backing up. Centurions get hit, but whatever, they're Centurions. They're 
trying to get rid of me there. Ooh, they did get hit. Doesn't kill them. It's not like these blowpipes are any good. Friggin' accuracy 6, HE power. Of it's a miracle they hit, even. But I put them into the buildings and they've got a supply helicopter there now. This guy sets the town on fire. And these tanks take care of that. And this guy over here spawns a hawk now that we've got the position. Eagles come out, start killing these enemy aircraft as they come in. Blow part of pipes open fire. Don't successfully kill anything, but their bombing run doesn't really do much either. And now that they've lost them, they start bombing their own supply depots. <laughs> do they disappear from the map on them? Yes, they do. That's kind of stupid. Fobs shouldn't disappear. Once you know where they are, they should stay there. But they've just lost all their fobs. Because I'm going through taking them. And they don't have any supplies anymore. Now, here's another command unit. They don't have Delta anymore. <laughs> well, I'm about to remedy a situation with Delta not being claimed by anybody. As of yet, we still have stalemates in the right. And a stalemate on the left. No one has moved anywhere. I don't know what they're doing, but it's like they're not even reacting to a handful of units going around and wrecking havoc. That's why I posted this. This is a collection of pathfinders going around going, Hey, there's shit there. Boom! There's shit there. Boom! Fobs. Yoink! Enemy artillery. Oh, what's happening with that? Oh, that's right. It's dead. Just a handful of units. <laughs> and it was like no one, other than sending aircraft, it was like no one did anything about it. Do they even see the command unit? Nope. And he's still just bombing places where fobs are or used to be. That was fun. Guys are attacking that. Ah, uh, the A-10 is going to be gone. Oh, nope, Tomcats have shown up. Oh, both A-10s are gone. But the to Tomcats and Eagles have shown up and taken that thing out. Look, at this is still completely undefended. If I knew that, I could have moved into there, too. <laughs> this is the only command unit they had guarded. With a VDV and a BTRD. That's it. This one is secondary. Didn't even begin guarded until this guy was like, wait a minute, there's something very bad going on. And now they just continue with the bombing of all these things. They can't have it. I can't have it. I don't care. I don't even need them. I'm loving this. This is 75 points a pop. There's one there, there's one there. They had like seven of these things at 75 points a pop, and now they're just bombing their own command, own fobs. Because well, what are they going to do? Hornets come in, start taking the MiGs out. Because now we're spawning aircraft from Delta. <laughs> we're in your rear, son! He ain't got anything he'd do about it! <laughs> this is just hilarious. And they're still focused on these places here. And this guy's kinda right! Solo, Mr. Good Cat. They're just dying! Getting themselves killed! They've left the entire map to be taken! That, and he just... all this dead stuff. I mean, he also got a lot of NATO dead this stuff killed too, but it's just kind of like... Seriously. They don't have enough anti-aircraft defense over here. I never at, at any point saw this. I knew it was in the woods, so I started bombarding the woods with artillery, but I didn't know it was there. If I did, I would have taken it out. 
These guys try to bomb there and miss. They continue to bomb these fobs to like no effect whatsoever. Because they didn't go after the supply helicopter. And then this guy quit, which was actually on our side. I'm kind of confused as to why he quit, because then he gave us a shit ton of points. Maybe his game crashed or something. At this point, I was being kind of annoying and typing in things like, I've got a lovely bunch of special forces, diddly dee. There they are, killing all your civvies. Do, 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 big ones, small ones, ones that look like tanks. Ah. Uh, so, yep. I had fun. <laughs> Barely deployed anything. No real heavy weapons, just a Canadian deck, a bunch of hellborn infant of Heliborn infantry, not even a heck of a lot of them, and just disassembled the back end. Which is and they stayed focused on the flanks. They didn't do anything to protect the center. It's just Hand me victory, why don't you? Just on a silver platter, here's victory. Here you go. Take it. It's yours. I've never... Unless we broke through the flanks, it's the first time I've seen Special Forces go do as well... They're not even really Special Forces, they're just some recon and dudes with guns going back there with helicopters. Just drove back there with a freaking thing and started spawning helica uh, aircraft from that spot. Oh, that was fun. Ugh. <sighs> And it prevented them from getting points, which means they never had the points to def to break through the flanks. And, well, we had all the points. So they couldn't break us on the flanks. It was just kind of sitting there going, yep, you can't win. We're getting the points, you're not. We ended up getting 37,319 command points to their 23,145. 14,000 command points more than they got. Because they didn't secure their rear at all. I didn't come out ahead in points. I still came out behind in kills and losses, but not by much. But I don't really care. I was going back there destroying other command units. That's a win. They didn't defend it. I killed them. That wasn't even my intent. My intent was to take that position and probably just hold it, but... I start going in with helicopters, realize there's nothing here, and just keep going. Oh well. I enjoyed that. I hope you did. Fellow war game players. <laughs> Don't leave your shit unguarded. Because then players like me are just going to have a fucking field day in your rear end. <laughs> well, of course that sounds wrong, but we're going to go up your ass and kill you from your in lower intestines. Ah. Uh. That was fun. Have fun, everybody.